Hi, it's Mids from My Life Mids. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to do a video about my distress stains that I use to color my pages in my Hobonish Techo as well as my Midori Traveler's Notebook. So for example here, I use some distress stains and just some color in the back there. Here you can see I use some distress stains. And I've had a couple of requests to do like I guess swatches of the colors that I currently use or currently have. I'm trying to find some colors here that I used. So I want I wanted to do a swatch. I don't have a lot. I mean, I guess it's enough. I have three, six, nine, ten distress stains and one distress paint. Uh, I think I, this is the one that I purchased in the beginning and then I found out about the, st the stains and then I kind of went with that. Um, I store them in just like this plastic container. I want to maybe purchase one of those uh, circle stickers so that I can color code them or um, so it's easier access because I always, if I'm looking for a certain color I always have to go like this and check. But anyways. So I thought I would show you on the Hobonichi Techo paper, which is the Tomoe River paper. I have a couple of blank pages here. And this is uh, the Midori brand, just a blank insert I took apart. Um, I just thought I would show you on the blank pa paper here. Really quickly, just to show you that it doesn't bleed through. I'm My current week here, I used some distress stains here. And you can see there's nothing at all, no bleed through whatsoever, despite the fact that this blue is quite um, wet. No bleed through at all, not even like really shadowing really. This is the monthly insert. And it's not white, it's a cream colored one, but that's what I love about these distress teams. So let's do a swatch. I'll start off with the Midori paper and maybe I'll just do one one each. So this one I love, really really like. It's called the Cracked Pistachio and it comes with a sponge tip applicator dauber thing and you can just do like a light wash like that or you can kind of layer it on. Uh, of course it's going to be white, quite wet so uh, just be careful. And this is what it looks like in the Tomoe River paper. So that's Cracked Pistachio. Next one is called Peacock Feathers. I think this is one of the first ones that I purchased. Nice blue color. I'm just grabbing them as I go. This one is Shaded Lilac. It's a very light purple color. not very dark. It's a nice light color. It reminds me of like the mild liner highlighters. This one I love. This is called Abandoned Coral. It's really bright. And I'm not pushing too hard at all. I'm just kind of swiping it. But I love this coral color here. Abandoned Coral. This one is Picked Raspberry. I use this often as well. A little juicy there, sorry about that. This, uh, you can see I pushed it a little too hard. But this is nice and bright pink. This one is antique linen. I wanted to use this more for like the vintage type of journaling. So let me just move this over here. So, antique linen. And this one I love too. It's called Fossilized Amber. Nice bright yellow. This is Twisted Citron. I 
I'm gonna, I might have pushed a little too hard there, it's quite wet. We gotta let it dry. And then these two colors I haven't used yet, so let's see what they look like. This is, I think it kind of leaked through here. This is called Vintage Photo. This is a brown color. Hopefully it's not too... So this is what it looks like. It's There's no color whatsoever here, so because you can see how the first... So you just have to kind of push, let the ink flow through. So that's what it looks like. So it's not fully... The ink hasn't fully come in yet, but if you push down a little bit, it'll come through. So it looks like that. Nice brown color. So this is Vintage Photo, and... And this one is called Hickory Smoke. It's still new. Just kind of push down, let the ink flow. Oh, I like this gray. It's a nice gray color. So that's what the tip looks like now. And I haven't used this in a while, so I don't know if it's going to be stuck or... Anyways, it's spun sugar in the distress paint, so it's not a, it's not a stain. It might be a little dry here, but it's a really nice pastel pink color. It's a little dry. So here are the swatches. I know maybe the monitor might be a little bit off, but I absolutely love them. It's so easy to add color to the pages. Uh, you don't have to always, you know, swipe. You can dab it. I think there's a couple of... I did an entry somewhere here in the back where I just did, like, dabbing. So here is where I just did dabbing and I just kind of dotted things down. I have tried, I think, once uh, kind of using a water brush. Let me just see. Let's do a quick demo here. Uh, water brush. This one is still kind of wet. So let's see how... Like you can still spread it around. This is dry, but it won't... I don't know how that will move. I haven't really experimented in that department yet. I suppose because they're water reactive, they will move. Obviously, they will move a lot better if the paper is like meant for watercolor. Um, but yeah, I really like to use these stains just to add a bit of color to the background. I'm loving these colors. I haven't really thought about pricking up anymore at this time because I think this color palette is okay for me. Um, so once you let it dry, like you'll see the parts that have kind of puddled. Uh, and if that bothers you, that's, I just wanted to give you a heads up, um, so just be aware of that. There will be like darker areas uh, and lighter areas. So let's check to see if there's some bleed through. There is, um, because of the staple hole that I have, I removed the paper uh, from the staples, so the ink fell through the staple hole, like it kind of seeped through, so there is a bit that went through there. It's my fault though. Um, but there's no bleed through there. There is just like really slight, a little little dab here. I guess it was a little too wet. Lots of ink that came out there. So, but overall, I think not bad at all. There's like hardly any uh, shadowing either. So, there's that Midori paper. And then the Tomoe River paper, nothing, despite the fact that it's so thin, you don't see any bleed through. Sorry, it's still kind of wet, so there was a bit, there's a bit of color transfer there, but... Of course there will be shadowing in this paper more so than the Midori paper because it's so thin, but that's what I love about the Hobonichi paper, the Tomoe River paper, is that you add all this color and it doesn't seep through. So I just realized after they dried the Hobonichi Techo paper, there is a bit of bleed through here, here, and here. So I guess with the Hobonichi Techo paper, if you're going to use these distress stains to have a lighter hand, um, or if you're going, if it like a huge 
blob kind of gushes out, maybe you can kind of dab it with some paper. But yeah, there was a slight bit of bleed through. This is the first time I've experienced the bleed through, so I wanted to share that with you. So if you have any distress stains that you absolutely love, like a color that I must have <laughs> that I don't have here, please do feel free to leave them in the comments below. But I absolutely love all of these colors. I use them all frequently very much. I I like this, uh, this one again, the cracked pistachio a lot. And I'm loving this coral too, but I use these colors all the time. Um, they're nice and bright and it just... It's so easy. I don't have to worry about cleaning my brushes later or anything like that. So, absolutely love. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful, please do feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.